Hey, it's Vicki with Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois. And today I wanna to give you a look at this 2021 Forest River Cherokee Wolfpack 365 Pack 16. This is a very, very popular seller. Uh, it is a fifth wheel toy hauler. I'll show you right here on the front. You do have access to your large storage space. There are three access points and there are tie downs. Just below that, I wanna show you that this unit is gen prepped. It does not have a generator. However, it would be very simple and easy to install one. And we could take care of that for you here at Tri-State RV. Moving down the line, you do have two lighted and power awnings. One uh, just over the garage door. So that's what the second entry is. This first entry goes into the main living space and you've got an awning over that and your outdoor kitchen. In your outdoor kitchen, you do have a cube contour refrigerator along with a contour microwave, or I'm not, not a microwave, an ice maker. There is a wash basin sink and up in the front storage compartment, there uh, was a spray port hose and that would connect right here. Does have a quick connect and just below that is uh, the connection for propane. Again, this unit is a toy hauler. It does have a ramp door on the back. However, it also has a party deck, which I'll show you once we get inside. So we're gonna start off right here in the main living space. Uh, as you can see right inside the door here, you do get coat hooks, plenty of cabinetry, and there is a nice fireplace here. So on those chilly fall nights, uh, this fireplace is great. You don't have to kick your propane on and it'll keep this main living space warm. You also have a radio and here are all your controls for your lights and your slides. This unit does have two slides, one main living slide and one bedroom slide. On your main living slide, you do get a uh, Michelle K recliner couch. Each one of these reclines and the two end pieces do have a heat setting, LED lights, and a massage setting. The lights in the ceiling of the slide are operated by the switch here. However, the reading lights on the wall are push button. Over here is your pantry. Nice large lighted pantry. It does have some drawers in it and some storage space down below. Just off of that is your 12 volt Canon refrigerator. This will stay cold as you're driving down the road. Up above, you do have a single bunk. Many do use that for storage. And in your kitchen, you've got plenty of cabinetry. Over here, you do have a microwave. Below that is a three burner graystone stovetop and oven. And just past that is your single basin apron front sink, has a pull down sprayer and a soap dispenser. And behind there, you also get uh, a partial booth. You could pull up a couple of chairs or you could essentially just use this as a seating area. Let's make our way to the garage back here. So in the garage, uh, you do have blackout curtains. They're simply snap on. You just snap them in place. Uh, it has the Happy Jack bunk system. So the upper bunk will come down to about uh, probably shoulder height on me. I'm five foot four. Um, the lower bunk will come to about my knee. And with this lower bunk, it actually, you can leave it like this to get a little more headroom if you wanna pull something in here like a side-by-side -side, or you can fold them flat and run them both up so you get a little more side-to-side. Uh, and then you can also uh, run them flat and run it all the way down. These beds will operate separately. So if you didn't want to lower the upper bunk, you don't have to. Um, but then the lower bunk also turns into a seating area. This part right here becomes your backrest. And in your backrest, there are cup holders. There are blackout curtains on the windows behind the lower bunk. And again, like I said, this is the uh, party deck on your ramp. So you do get the Moorride patio system. 
It is a gate that runs out uh, along the edge of the ramp and there are two heavy duty cables that hold the ramp level with the rest of the camper. And up above that, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a roll down uh, curtain slash screen. Over here is your bathroom. Before we get to that though, I wanna show you that this unit has tons of tie down points. Um, but this is your bathroom. No, it doesn't have to remain open. It does have movable walls. So I'll show you how that works in just a second, but I wanted to show you with it open, that way you could see that you get tons of space in here. Now with these movable walls, just behind this one, which I didn't snap it in place, but during travel, you can leave it snapped in place. Uh, but if you want to close off the bathroom to create a room, it's got this latch behind it. And if I can get it lined up here, you just latch it in place and that becomes a wall. Just behind that wall, you do have a washer and dryer hookup. Over here is the snap for this wall slash door. Uh, you just pull your door in and there's another latch here. I'm trying to do it slowly. Latch it in place and there you go. You have a wall and a door. You just open it up and you got your bathroom. And in your bathroom, you do have, of course, a toilet and there is a small sink in there as well. There are USB ports and outlets everywhere. So nobody will have to fight over uh, who gets to plug their phone or tablet in or whatever you need to plug in. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the bedroom and the master bath. So right up the stairs here is your master bath. Uh, as you can see, you've got a vanity and medicine cabinet over there. You do have a large corner shower. The shower does have a skylight overhead, which offers a little more headroom. And then over here, you do have another medicine cabinet and of course your toilet. Now there are two entries into the bathroom, one from the hallway here and one from the bedroom, which is what that other door was. So here's your bedroom. Uh, you do get a nightstand on this side of the bed and a closet on that side. There are USB ports on each side of the bed. So again, you don't have to fight over who gets to charge their phone at night. Um, and then there are side open cabinets up top. There are also push button reading lights underneath the cabinets. There's just a little button there that you push in place and it'll turn the light on and off. Um, and then here is where your second slide is. So your second slide is a wardrobe slide. You do get a nice little dresser there and a couple of, couple of mirrored closets. Uh, and there is also storage underneath the bed. It is a full walk around bed as well. One more thing I wanna show you about this unit. It does have mood lighting, which I'll show you more of downstairs because there are blue LEDs in both the bedroom and the main living space of this unit. Let's go ahead and turn these lights over here off. So again, these are push button, uh, but your overhead lights are uh, on a switch, which I'll show you in just a moment. And here's the button for the wall sconces. All right. So, show you over here real quick. You do have, again, this is your control panel. So I'm gonna shut the outside LEDs off, the living room lights, the kitchen lights, the porch, and the stem lights. And there you go, blue LED mood lighting. And again, the couch does have LEDs, but you do have to be hooked into shore power for that. If you'd like to see this unit in person, come check it out at Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois.